Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and as always, great to have you on board. Right, today on uh, So You Want To Be A Presenter, I'm going to change the title slightly. It should really be uh, So You Want To Be A Presenter or A Public Speaker, because the two are very, are very closely linked and it would be relevant uh, to either. And today's topic is feedback. Good thing, bad thing. Uh, personal opinion and the opinion of many of my friends who are also in this industry, bad thing. And I'll give you an example. Uh, I've been working with a, uh, with a friend of mine who does a little bit of public speaking. And it's took us about two or three weeks to put together a really lovely uh, presentation for him to then give to his audience. And I received a phone call this morning, only about an hour ago, uh, from a quite distressed friend saying, uh, I'm not really sure about this presentation now, you know. Uh, do you think we should have a look at it again and go over a few things? Now, this is from someone who up to this point was absolutely 100% positive about the presentation he was about to give. And he's about to give it in two days' time. Uh, anyway, I invited him over. We've, he's just left and uh, we were speaking. And what he's done is he's contacted his boss and said, uh, you know, can you just give me some feedback on what you think? Well, all that man has done has destroyed three weeks worth of work, you know, because he's just now filled my friend's head with negativity uh, and doubt. And really there's no, <clears throat> sorry, uh, there's no reason for that because himself and the presentation are absolutely fantastic. And this raises the question, you know, why would you ask for feedback? Because all you're doing with that is literally setting yourself up for a fall. People feel obliged if they're asked to give feedback to literally put you down. They, it's, it's just human nature. They feel obliged to look for all the things, uh, all the faults or all the faults that they think are false. Uh, they think it's a given right to dig out as many as they can, whether it's relevant or not, uh, and, you know, sort of launch them at you. Uh, now, what you should be doing is instead of asking for feedback, this is one of those instances where you need to ask very specific questions and pretty closed questions at that. Such as, you know, have a look at this uh, this video, this rough edit of a video that I've put together. It's uh, relating to a presentation I'm going to do. Do you think I get to the point? Do you think I cover the topics I need to? Do you think I come across as professional? Do you think... So already have the questions in mind that you'd like answered and make sure that they're questions that the answer could be changed if it's a negative answer so do you think I come across as professional if someone says no because your hair looks a bit messy then that's something you can resolve pretty quickly with a bit of brill cream a quick flick of your fingers or a brush and bingo you're out you're out of the door you know still feeling a hundred percent and probably 105 percent knowing that you've now improved what you thought was was fantastic in the first place uh, they're very simple questions don't just use the sort of Caught Blanche, can you give me some feedback on this rough edit of a presentation I'm going to do? Because, my God, you will have opened the floodgates there to a tsunami of negativity uh, that you'll find difficult to overcome. Especially if you've only got a day or two to then, put, hopefully, uh, put something back together and regain your confidence, which, believe me... Uh, putting a presentation together is easy. Regaining someone's confidence in then going out there and uh, and delivering that presentation is a whole nother ball game. So feedback. Is it good? No. If you want some sort of constructive criticism, uh, that's different. But make sure you are in control of the questions that you're asking and that you're pretty much geared up to be able to handle and put the answers right should they not be the ones that uh, you were expecting so i hope that helps and uh, hopefully i'll get another video out on another topic and uh, i am going to change the title so it will be so you want to be a presenter or a public speaker as always bye for now